Alright, welcome everyone. This is a quick overview of the Skywatcher FlexTube 200P 8 inch collapsible Dobsonian telescope. So it will come in two boxes. One of the boxes has the base mount, it's a solid particle board. Um, it comes with all the tools necessary for construction, so you don't need to worry about that. The second box has the optical tube assembly, or the OTA, uh, as well as all the other uh, components that it comes with. Construction is simple. The instructions are okay, but I mean, it's a simple enough construction that it suffices. The tools that it comes with will get the job done. However, I do recommend getting a better screwdriver. The one that comes with is pretty small, and it's nigh impossible to complete the putting on the feet of the telescope. So definitely get a bigger one if you have it. These two handles will screw into the sides. The one with the extra little bearings and hardware will go on the side where you stand. That will do the tightening of the telescope if you want to lock it in a certain position. This is everything that it comes with, which we will go over um, in more detail. This is the spotting scope. It will slide right into this right here. Do make sure that it is tight. If not, it will slide right off. Uh, I've learned that from experience, but it survived. Uh, this is the two inch eyepiece adapter, so that goes in right there if you have two inch eyepieces. This is the 1.25 inch adapter, which are the eye, which you will use if you use the eyepieces that it came with. This piece does come undone and it has a T-mount adapter. So if you have a DSLR camera or something with a T-mount, that is very useful. I'll show you that later. The 25 and 10 mil eyepieces that it come with, they will give you 48 and 120 times magnification respectively. To get that, you just do the 1200 millimeter focal length, which this telescope is, divided by the millimeter of the eyepiece. And here's the focuser. You'll use this to focus every time you switch eyepieces or cameras, you'll have to do this. You can lock the focus in with that screw right there. The spotting scope has crosshairs to help you lock in on your target. On top it has a soft cover, which is fine. When you first get it, it'll come wrapped with this soft tissue paper type stuff with two rubber bands. Um, make sure the telescope is horizontal. Get some scissors, take off uh, the rubber bands and the tissue paper. Um, make sure it's horizontal again, just so you don't drop anything on the main mirror. The main mirror is covered by a plastic cover. Careful not to drop anything down there. The plastic cover, if you take off that little cap, um, you can leave the cover on if you're looking at something bright, like the moon. Very helpful. To sight into your telescope, I'd recommend using your 10mm eyepiece, looking at something far away on the ground that will not move, locking it in, and then looking through your spotting scope and dialing, in, dialing it in with the two screws on top. If you want to take pictures with this, it's very much possible. You can use your phone uh, with a cheap phone mount like this, and with this I've been able to get fairly successful results. Here's a video of the moon that I took using the 25mm eyepiece and my phone and a cheap mount. Uh, and here's a photograph. However, I do not recommend using a cheap phone mount if you want to use your phone for photography. If you want to use your phone 100%, spend the money, get a nice $50, $60 mount that lets you micro adjust everything. If you have a DSLR, I'd recommend spending the money to get a T-mount. They're really inexpensive. Make sure it is for your specific camera mount. With the 1.25 inch eyepiece adapter, you can unscrew it and there are T-mount threads on the outside of the mount, which you can screw in your T-mount directly. I've gotten really successful videos and photographs with this method. Um, using a 2 times Barlow, I was able to capture the convergence of Jupiter and Saturn and with the native T-mount, I was able to get this great video of the moon. The great thing about this telescope is that it's collapsible so it's great if uh, you need it to take up a smaller space or you travel a lot and you want to throw it in the back of your car. When extending the tube it has two locking positions. The first is for binocular viewing. I haven't used it but it's great that it comes with that option 
and then extend it just a little further, it'll lock in place, tighten it down with the three tightening bolts, and you're ready to go. Overall, it's a great telescope, great beginner telescope, and if you get it, I wish you clear skies and have fun.